who or what's the matter. Some problems are universal when experienced, like starving. Some problems you consider a problem and someone else would experience your problem as a gift. Universal problems threaten survival. Preference problems can feel life-threatening but aren't. Majority of problems are simply just preferences for reality to be different than it is. Collectively, there are billions upon billions upon billions of differing personal preferences, right? That creates infinite opportunities to learn from preference problems natural to your diverse life experience. You will learn how to rewrite preference problems in Chapter 3. For now, consider how have you cultivated the practice of problems in your life? How are problem emotional states impacting your energy level? Emotional states equal energy states. So passive, reactive, obedient emotional states equal bound, lost energy momentum. Whereas present, responding observantly creates boundless, loving energy momentum. So rather than cultivating the practice of problems, you can become a problem pro by present responding observantly, presently responding observantly. Okay. Denying the existence of unmet needs or preferences by not addressing them and instead entering passive, reactive, or obedient states deepens problematic life experiences. It doesn't stop them from existing and expressing. As with all things, it's just a matter of if your problematic energy will express consciously or unconsciously, knowingly or unknowingly, in alignment with your values and desired life experience, or in misalignment with your values and desired life experience. Whatever you are cultivating, you will have an abundance to share.